All right, welcome to Gun Stuff. Today, we get a chance to go out on the range and take out Bond Arms Derringers. So we've got a couple different models here and we'll show them to you here real quick. Uh, we're taking out the Roughneck. This is chambered nine millimeter. We're gonna be taking out the Rowdy. This is in 410 and 45 Long Colt. And then we'll be taking out the Grizzly. And this is a 45 uh, Long Colt 410 as well, but it just has different grips and stuff on it and comes with a different holster. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna put some rounds to this and we'll tell you guys what we think about it and, and give you some uh, close up details on it. And we'll get right back to you in a minute. All right, so here we are again. We're gonna fire a couple more rounds with the Roughneck 9mm. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire two rounds and then I'm just gonna go for, I'm just gonna go for a reload and just, <laughs> just to try it out, you know, reload the derringer is not anything fun or speedy or anything like that, but just to show with the little flip mechanism here, just, uh, just how much easier it could be on this. All right, so here we go. All right, so it takes a little practice. Uh, that was my first attempt at trying to do this in any kind of speed or anything like that to try to get some rounds in it and just, just to follow up or anything like that. So in an emergency situation, you could be in a situation where you're, uh, you, where you pull this thing out and you defend yourself, but then you go, that stops the attack or that, that prevents you from being hurt by whatever animal you're shooting at or anything and gives you a chance to find cover or get somewhere safe and you immediately want to top this thing back off to just give a little demonstration that it's it can be done and it can be probably be done a lot faster than what I just did but we just wanted to give it a shot so we're going to do it one more time here in a second I'm going to reload and we'll jump right back into it all right so we're going to try this again I'm going to try uh, shooting this two rounds reload it and then uh, two more two more follow-ups so here we go All right, so not too bad. A little, you know, a lot, heck of a lot slower than doing a speed reload with an auto or anything like that. But you get the dependability of a Derringer, and this thing is as solid as a rock. So when it goes off, you know, and, you know, you're putting it down range. So we're gonna go ahead and step off. We're gonna grab the bigger guns, and we're gonna come back out again. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Big okay. breath. All right, so now we're back out here with the uh, 410 uh, critical defense. This is the Hornaday critical defense. So it has a big slug in the in the top of it, and it has two uh, double lock bucks behind it. So each time you pull the trigger on these, you're firing essentially three lethal rounds on this. So here we go. All right, you kick this thing. <laughs> when you shoot this thing, you know you got a hold of something in your hand here. This thing has got a little bit of kick to it, but it's nothing less than I would expect by shooting defensive, uh, defensive ammunition like this out of it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, load this up with some 45 uh, here in a second, uh, some long Colt, but essentially this is what you get coming out of here. All right, so we're moving up the line here. So now we're up to, uh, 45 long colt, so we got two 45 long colts in here. I expect this one to kick the most and have the, this was the, uh, probably the most damaging round you could get through this, most lethal. Here we go. All right, I, had, I don't know why, it's, it's instinctual now that I shot this a few times. Every time I shoot it, I immediately want to start thumb cocking it again, just kind of getting in my head like that, that I don't know why. But you know, you're just throwing these 45 long colts out there. Uh, we'll put up a fresh target here in a minute and we'll shoot some more. Uh, but just wanted to give you guys a, a first impression on this. This thing uh, doesn't kick near as, near as much as I thought it would. So uh, this gun being a little bit uh, beefier and having a little bit fatter grip on there, it really gives you a good purchase on it so you can really handle the gun. It doesn't really want to slip up and jump out of your hand. I expect it to have a lot more snap to it, but it feels really good. So we're going to go grab the next model and we're going to get into it too. Now we have the 
410 Grizzly 45 Long Colt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot 410 through here right now. This is this bird shot. But one of the cool things about this model here, the Grizzly, is this is set up in a cross draw configuration. So it's, this obviously can go on the other side as well. But this one here is, a, you know, it, it, it can go on either side. So uh, this would be a great backup gun. You're out back country or something like that. So this thing here being able to uh, deliver these rounds if you bear big, big cats, anything like that that you might run into. And it doesn't take up a lot of space on your belt and it's very light doesn't doesn't really get in the way so we're going to go ahead and fire a couple four tens through it all right nice <laughs> all right so any snake any anything with the bird shot that you'd be willing to take out a bird shot doesn't stand a chance against this uh, this this is really throwing a, throwing out a lot of pellets and throws them out pretty quick. The recoil is completely manageable. So we're going to put some bigger rounds in here and we'll come right back. All right, so here we are back out here. We've got the Grizzly back out. Right now I have 410 in here and this is the Hornaday Critical Defense. So it's going to be sending out a big slug and two uh, double op buck behind it. So here we go. <laughs> so... This with the with this being critical defense round and having the big the big slug coming out and then the double lot buck it, it just this has a little more punch to it and you can feel it when you shoot it I mean it it, it really kicks back in the hand when you get on there so uh, but the bird shot of course kicks a little bit but the 45 long colt has gone really well through here so we're gonna try it next all right so here we are again we got the grizzly and now we have got the 45 long colt in here again I got it in the cross draw configuration so here we go. Man, these things, uh, they really do. It, it does a really good job of absorbing the recoil with such a high power round. Uh, and this one here has the extended grip on it. We'll get more into that in just a little bit, but the extended grip really does help a lot. All right, so we've shot a lot of different rounds through all the different guns. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and we're shoot a little bit of slow motion and we're going to shoot a uh, bird shot, which you'd be using for some kind of pest control or anything like that. And then we'll shoot a, a defensive round, which has a, the slug, the Hornaday critical defense has the slug and the two double lot buck behind it. And then we'll be shooting the 45 long coat. We're going to do these in slow motion so that way you can see each one of these on your back. No. You can still hear it. So you can still hear all the, you can hear the round after the gun went off. I missed the target. You can still hear the round traveling through the woods and you can hear branches and stuff getting shot off trees like a hundred yards away. So <laughs> here we go. Let's try this again. <laughs> Man, that would knock you flat on your ass, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, so we're shooting the Roughneck. Uh, this is at the uh, nine, this is nine millimeter, and we're shooting this at 25 yards just to see what we can, if we can hit anything. All right, so the first one I hit a little bit low. I adjusted, came up, and I uh, hit the second one. And so this is about 25, maybe 30 yards up to the top of the hill with the 9 millimeter. And it's seeing how short this barrel is. Let me pull one of these out here and show you. So the 9 millimeter sitting in there. This thing, so you really got about a, by the time that projectile sits up in there, you really got about an inch of barrel left for that thing to do any kind of, uh, any kind of twist. And it has lands and grooves in here and rifling. But uh, it really doesn't get a whole lot of spin on it before it leaves the barrel. So, <laughs> All right, so a lot of people like to do cowboy action shooting. So what we have here is we have a Henry 410 lever action. So I'm going to run a couple rounds through here, but then I'm going to go for my backup, which is going to be my Grizzly, and i got 45 Long Colt in my backup. So uh, a lot of people, when they shoot the cowboy action and stuff like that, they, you know, they'll, they'll run these, and this is meant to be shot, you know, shotguns and, and rifles. 
And then you can also go to your backups in those stages of competition, depending on which one you're at. So we're going to go ahead and run a couple here. Man, this is so much fun. We keep running, we keep running these drills and doing a lot of this stuff. So th this is a this is such a great time to get out here and do this and run these these antique guns. But then you got all the modern machining and all the modern technology that goes into these as well. So this is a really great matchup here. <laughs> Man, you, it doesn't get much funner than this. So uh, getting to take this Henry out, run some rounds through it, and then uh, go into your backup, which is going to be your Grizzly here. So this is a lot of fun to shoot these. So we're gonna go over some of these guns real quick. Uh, we already broke some of them down in the uh, video. So what we're gonna do is just go over them a little bit, a little bit more. So we start off with the Roughneck, and the Roughneck is the nine millimeter version. This one's a little bit lighter, has a two and a half inch barrel, and this comes in at about 19 ounces. So you got your nine millimeter in here, but one of the, if you didn't get a chance to see up, to, up close really well, there's a little lever right here for uh, actuating to lift up the to release the barrel, barrel flips up, change the rounds out. All right, so uh, I'm not sure if it was uh, real clear in the video when we, was, when we were doing that, so I just wanted to get you a chance to get a good look at it. So this one here is the nine millimeter, handled really well. Uh, just enough weight for you to be able to manage the recoil on it and just enough grip to be able to uh, get, the, get a nice, uh, good purchase on it so you can get those shots off. The next one up was the Rowdy, and the Rowdy is in 410, 45. Long Colt. So this, these were a, a a blast to shoot. Not only just a blast, but I mean they're loud and they are a shock to the senses to shoot 40, 45 and 410 right out of the palm of your hand. So the only difference on uh, the difference on these guns here is that they have the little ejector lever on there. Okay. So one of the things that we noticed on the when we were shooting these is that the shot shells seem to expand a little bit more. They got the brass case on the bottom and they got the plastic hull up top. So that brass case is a little thinner and expands a little bit more. So when you go to do any type of uh, speed or anything like that, it, they, they like to stick in there just a little bit tighter just because they expand so much. But this thing shot great. I, I was a little apprehensive at first and it probably showed in the video that as soon as I stepped up with a 410 and this little bitty package here and fired it off. But once I fired a couple times, it, would, it became very natural to point and shoot this thing. We shot our targets really close. And that was just so that way we could make sure we got all of our bird shot and all of our defensive rounds and stuff on target. All right, so our next gun that we went to is the Grizzly. And this is, this is by far my favorite. And, and part of the reason it's my favorite is because, one, it comes with the holster, the cross draw holster, uh, which is great for anybody that spends a lot of time sitting, truck driving, anything like that. You're behind the wheel or working on farm equipment or sitting in a deer stand or whatever. So it makes it real easy to cross draw instead of having to lean all the way back to get, some, get that if you're in a confined space like a tree stand or or a, a truck cab or something. But the other big perk to this is the fact that it comes with this big grip here. So that gives you just enough to get that pinky on there. So when you're firing 410 out of this one, uh, you, you don't get that extra little bit of purchase with your pinky there. You, you know, you really feel like you gotta grab a hold of it a lot harder. But when I'm shooting the Grizzly, I can feel, it feels like a much more natural grip on this. And this thing handles 410 and 45 long colt great. Uh, we shot a couple targets. Uh, with all the different with all the different ammos, but my favorite one of the day was when we shot 45. I shot out the 35 yards. I shot the long Colt out of this, and I don't expect any kind of accuracy out of this gun. But I went ahead and took a couple shots at, at 35 yards, and the first one I shot, I missed. But the funny thing about it is, I had my electronic ears on, so you could hear everything. It, blew, it, it, it they shut off and it muffled out the sound of the shot. But then I could immediately hear the bullet traveling through the woods taking out limbs as it went through. So it just kept on going through the woods there and I could hear just of it just ripping limbs off trees. So that was pretty, that was a pretty fun part right there for me. Some of the ammo we shot through today, uh, we started off with uh, all of our light loads. The first ones we start off with were our uh, 410, two and a half inch, uh, Winchester seven and a half shot. So this is your this is your your bird shot, snake shot, stuff like that. This is the stuff that you're going to use to dispatch pests or, or or take care of anything small like that. Then we went up to the Hornaday Critical Defense, and the Hornaday Critical Defense was firing. It's two and a half uh, inch 
uh, slug, two and a half inch case, uh, is firing 41 cal slug, one of their critical defense slugs, but then also has two 35 caliber ball ammunition behind it. So essentially you're firing three guns with one trigger pull. You're firing a, a two 35s and a 41 caliber. So each, every time you get a pull of the trigger with one of these, you're firing all that, you got all that firepower into one. And you can see that in the slow-mo on the camera when we shoot, you know. So one of those you'll see, you'll see one slug, you'll see the two 35 cal balls, and you'll also see the uh, the wad probably hit on the paper there. But then we got up to our big boy rounds here, to the 45 long colt, we shot the Fiocchi. These are 250 grain uh, long colts, and these things, performed great. This was probably the best shooting out of out of the whole lot. The shotgun shells kicked a little harder but the but the long colt was was very manageable and didn't didn't seem to, to kick that much at all. And not not exactly sure why, but it just I figured this one would probably kick a little bit more than the rest. But the four tens really really did it uh, really did a number on it. But these are just great fantastic little pistols for you to have as a backup. So what, you know, main thing I could see this being used for, you know, you backcountry hunting or, you know, if you're hiking or something like that, someplace where you need a lot of firepower in a very small package. So you have the whole gamut of what you can shoot uh, from a 45 long Colt all the way down to birdshot. So you can do just about anything you need to with this. And some of the, and being a firearms instructor for a bunch of years and, and working with a lot of people and a lot of first time shooters and a lot of people with home defense and things like that, you know, people are always asking questions. Uh, one of the things I love about the, the guns now that shoot the 45, 410 is that you can load these so that you can get some type of like non-lethal or you can load the first shot with bird shot or something like that so that if you decide that you don't want to go to a lethal round right away that you don't have to you can put a non-lethal round in here and you can you know you can you can shoot at somebody tell them to get out of your house get out of your yard whatever the heck you want to shoot somebody for uh, which it, it so and still not be lethal and then the next round that you send can automatically be the next round it could automatically be your 45 long colt or your defender rounds or something like that so there's a lot of people out there that you know they they're on the fence about you know uh, home defense in and, and owning a firearm, but these things just give you more options. Uh, some people may not like those options, but it's still an option nonetheless. So we hope you like these and we'll see you next time.